Well, hi there, everyone, and welcome to the podcast, Love Letters to Pam, the Jack Church Show. You know me, I'm Jack Church. Of course, as always, you may be watching on our YouTube channel. That's Traveling with Jack and Pam. Keep subscribing, pass it along, share with others. I just had to share with you an amazing thing that happened. And some of you are going to say, no way, no how, that did not happen. We often hear on our grief journey how people receive signs from their loved ones. And oftentimes, even myself, I've kind of went, I don't know, really? Because I'm always looking for signs, and every now and then there are some from time to time. I have a very dear friend who's also widowed like myself, who she receives an amazing sign on a very regular basis. Comes in the form of feathers that appear. And her loved one, she believes, is sending those feathers. And in hearing her stories, I truly believe it as well, that it's signs from heaven. That all is well, and they're just waiting to be joined together again someday. For me, well, I remember some of Pam's friends told me that if you ever see a butterfly, that's a sign from me, that being Pam. And We've had some friends of hers who have indeed reported seeing butterflies from time to time. And a couple of times I've seen some butterflies. Now, she didn't direct that message to me, though, because it was one of those things in her final weeks that, you know, we just didn't get around to talking about signs from heaven and things like that. Some of you who have gone through the process of watching a loved one pass on to heaven know what I'm talking about, that... Often it's not like in the movies. There aren't these long, dramatic, amazing conversations and the music doesn't come up in the background and it's all beautiful and wonderful. No, usually in those last days, we're just, at least in my case, asking her constantly, are you comfortable? Can I get you something? Won't you please drink some water? Hey, let's do, you know, that's, I mean, that's just the way it is for some of us. But I digress. I want you to tell you about the amazing thing that happened today. I'm in my home office right now, and I was doing some work on the computer and such. Now, let me tell you a little story, first of all, before I tell you what happened. Pam, her entire life, myself, our kids, we would always kid her about, she would see a penny in the middle of a parking lot. I mean, just a penny or something, and she would go over and pick it up. Of course, there were times she'd pick up dimes and nickels and quarters, And uh, we had a jar, I'm sure many of you do too as well, that we kept in our closet that we'd deposit loose change in. And and, uh, at the end of the year, we would cash it in sometimes around vacation time. And sometimes there was a couple hundred dollars there for some extra spending money. But again, Pam would pick up coins in some of the craziest places that you could ever imagine. And again, we had a little fun with it from time to time of, oh, it's just a penny or it's just a dime. Do you know how many people have walked on that dime? Do you know where that dime has been? She didn't care. She'd pick it up. And I think some of that came from her upbringing as well. Didn't come from an incredibly wealthy family. Her grandparents were farmers and such. And so, you know, they were really good about saving money. And Pam was too. And I'm happy to say some of those habits rubbed off on me. So that gives you a little bit of the background about coins and how that's always been a little bit in my mind. And so now whenever I see a coin in a parking lot or on a sidewalk, I'll take the time and pick it up and I think of my sweet Pam. And recently, a couple of weeks ago, I noticed on a couple of different occasions as I'm getting out of my car and I open the car door, well, lo and behold, there's like a dime or a nickel or a penny on the ground. And I'm thinking, hmm. Is that a sign from Pam? Is she letting me know that all is well? Well, today I became a true believer in signs. You remember the Eric Clapton song, Pennies from Heaven? And of course, that was written largely in part about the loss of his son. And so here's the deal. As I'm sitting here in my office working today, I nearly jumped out of my chair because on my desk... This, can you see it? It's a dime. It fell on my desk. I am not making this up. I'm sitting there working. I hear the dime. You probably can't hear it on the microphone, but maybe you did. did you hear that? 
That's what it sounded like. The dime fell and appeared on my desk. I have no idea where it came from. I didn't have any change around me. There was, I mean, there is absolutely no explanation other than the supernatural that this dime came from my sweet Pam. And instead of pennies from heaven, in my case, it was dimes from heaven. I really, really believe it. Now, I keep looking over around my desk. I've got a, uh, a copier printer next to my desk. I'm looking at it going, could the dime have been in the copier? And I don't know, put, but no, none of that makes sense. Um, you know, in fact, I can, I can turn my desk is kind of messy. I'll turn the camera around and let you look. There's a little bit of what I'm talking about. The dime landed right about in that area is where it came from. So I think it was from Pam. This dime came from her. This dime now has a special place, not only in my heart, but yeah, I'll find a safe spot here on the desk to keep it. So for those of you that have had some signs and maybe question, was it? I'm not one to tell you yes or no, but in my case, this dime was the real deal and it scared the crap out of me. I'm telling you, sitting there and to hear that hit the desk and then look over there and there's a dime. And then immediately I looked up and thought, okay, Pam, I get it. You're trying to get my attention. What's she trying to tell me? Well, I want to think that she's trying to tell me that all is good where she is and that she does think about me. Maybe she sees me from time to time. But as I said before, though, I know if heaven is as wonderful as those of us who believe in heaven and the afterlife and believe in God, uh, you know, they're having such a grand old time up there. They're not really worried about us. But every now and then they send us those signs. For me, it's a dime. For my one friend, it's butterflies. For another friend, it's feathers. What is it for you? And maybe if you haven't received a sign and you thought, hmm, I haven't had one yet. Well, don't give up. I kept thinking every now and then when I was finding change in parking lots that, oh, it's just a coincidence. But a dime falling on the desk this morning? No, that's far beyond a coincidence. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this. Hey, Keep subscribing to the podcast, subscribing to the YouTube channel, leave reviews from the podcast providers. That helps our rating go up and share the message with others. I really want to grow this thing. It, it, it's growing kind of at a snail's pace, though. So again, thank you. And as I always say, have a great day. But better yet, make it a better tomorrow. I got my dime to prove that Pam is watching. Bye now.